What to do when you mess up. Let's be honest. At one point or another, we have all messed up or committed a sin so big that we feel as if God cannot forgive us. Or we committed the same sin so many times that it feels as if God will not forgive us. There is a real spirit that a lot of children of God struggle to deal with. And that spirit is a spirit of condemnation. Condemnation includes feelings of guilt, shame, regret, fear, or unworthiness, usually stemming from past mistakes or, ex or experiences. There is a big difference between conviction of sin and condemnation. The Holy Spirit convicts you of your sin, but the devil condemns you. They don't allow people to paint the picture of God and Jesus as if they came to condemn the world. Jesus did not come to condemn the world. God did not send his only begotten son to condemn the world. Anyone who preaches this is preaching another gospel that is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus did not come to condemn you. Jesus did not come to hang hell over your head. You see, so many people know John 3.16, but not enough people know John 3.17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. God did not send his son to condemn you because you were born in sin. You were condemned already. God did not need to send his son to condemn you. He sent his son to save you. The truth is we all make bad decisions in life. This is not one of us who can stand up and say ever since they were born again they have lived a spotless perfect life if you were saying that you are a liar through the years i have seen so many children of god struggle with this area of condemnation they perceive god as a negative light but i want to change this today for you and remind you that God loves you. Come back to God. Don't allow your sin to push you so far away from God. When you mess up, you hear this voice that comes back, the comeback in the spirit of condemnation. You call yourself a Christian? Do you think a born-again Christian would commit a sin like that? You are going to hell. Don't even bother praying and asking forgiveness. How many times have you already asked for forgiveness? You, if you were truly born again, you wouldn't be sinning anymore. This little voice is what the devil wants you to to play over and over and over again in your head. The devil wants you to believe that you are the first idiot to make a dumb decision. He wants to make you feel as if you are the first person to ever make a silly decision. He wants to make you feel as if you are the first person to make a rash decision. But allow me to tell you a secret. Men and women have been making silly decisions ever since the world was created. Adam and Eve, for example. Abraham. Moses killed a man. David committed adultery and then had the lady's husband killed. If David can ask for forgiveness and if God can forgive him, you can too. Your life is not over. God is not done with you. 
Ask for forgiveness today. Repent from your sinful ways. There is something I want you to know about forgiveness from God. When you ask for forgiveness, something is required of you. What is required of you is faith. Don't listen to your feelings. Don't listen to your guilt. Listen to the Word of God and have faith in the Word of God. 1 John chapter 1, verse 19. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Have faith in the Word of God. When you ask for forgiveness, you must believe that you have already been forgiven. That is the devil using unbelief to keep you in the bondage of sin. You need to believe that you have been saved. You need to believe that you have been forgiven and start living a new life. You cannot just say, You ask the king for forgiveness, and you are doubting if God can save you from the sin or not. Why do you have faith in the fact that God can see you commit that sin, but you have no faith that God will forgive you if you confess your sin? Why do you have faith in the fact that God can see you commit that sin, but you have no faith? That God will forgive you if you confess your sins. Why do you believe the fact that you can that God can see you commit the sin, but you don't believe that God will forgive you when you confess to him? Why do you have such a negative view of God? Why do you view God as unforgiving? If God can, can see you steal, He can see you ask forgiveness. If God can hear you tell a lie, He can hear you say and pray for forgiveness. Take God at His word and believe Him. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. You feeling change on a daily basis, but the word of God doesn't. Take God at his word and accept forgiveness of the Lord. Accept it. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. Accept it. Tell him or tell me how great is sin that God cannot save you from it. Tell me how big is your sin that God will say that he cannot forgive you. Who told you that you will end up in hellfire even if you repented? Who told you that God created hellfire for you? Who told you that God has already condemned you? You better stop listening to those voices of the devil. You need to stop listening to the voices in your head telling you all of these things. God saw the sins of men were so great that even the blood of bulls and goats couldn't do anything anymore. It couldn't save anyone anymore. Tell me about how big are your sins what have you done that you think God cannot forgive you what have you done that your mind is telling you that there is no forgiveness for you from God and Psalm chapter 3 verses 2 and 3 many they will say many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for me in God. Selah. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of mine head. God is the one who can help you and save you from sin. 
that you have committed. If you don't know sin, it's like a cage or a chain that is holding you down. It will hold you down until it throws you in hellfire. The wages of sin is death. The Bible says all have sinned. Romans chapter 3 verse 23. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If we have all sinned, then we have all going to face the death that comes with sin, which is hellfire. God gave his only son so that we may be saved. Jesus did not come to condemn, but to save you. The blood of bulls couldn't do it because sin was great. Jesus did it. Jesus paid it all. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 4. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and goats should take away sins. Now who is telling you that God cannot forgive you? Who is telling you that you will go to hell? Who is telling you that you cannot be saved? Do you think Jesus came down to lay down his life? For the sake of it? No, it was you. Jesus died for you. If you come to him, no one will send you away. If you come for forgiveness of sin, God will forgive you and give you a fresh start. You are not only the one who has sinned. You will not be the only one who has committed dark sin. God will forgive you. He is faithful. He is righteous. No one has sinned. But it is God that is forgiving all sins. So what should you do when you mess up? Ask for forgiveness.